Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about the web service integration and how uh, we can use the subreddit node to integrate with the uh, various web services. It can be a SOAP, it can be a REST, or it can be, uh, which can be from the CRM side and all those things. Right, in the previous video, we did created uh, web services. If you have not seen that video, uh, you can go and check to the link given in the description, right? So this is a web service we have created. Uh, one thing I have changed is I've changed the port to 881. This is under the application properties. You can find, uh, sorry, under resources, the application properties is there. Quickly, I will start the our API. Okay, so we have created two APIs, right? One is for, uh, uh what just happened okay starting so one is for the account or log and one for the password reset right so what just happened failed to start okay why oh there is a already tomcat is started or what yeah okay so we will go to our browser right and let's call those this one and we'll see if it is working or not it's working fine what we will do is we will go over here in the postman so and try to check now why i am using postman that will be the question if you're asking if you're not familiar so this is one of the greatest tool for the developer right so you can paste uh, test your connectivity and also you can download the codes right so in supports many languages ruby python node.js java uh Scurl and python i think python yeah python is also there php is also there right anyway so right now for the java they have unirest and ok http i don't like both but uh yeah for the demo let's go with the ok http right uh, i usually prefer http client or http url connection client right so those i usually prefer anyway uh so what we will do you is uh sorry this is done uh we will go to our eclipse okay and i will try to create new spree project okay uh because we are not changing in the yod training right now uh, I will just show you how to do the integration and to run it also and that application is not ready yet so let's something like rest uh, test api something like that okay uh, we'll click next and finish Let it done okay why i changed to 81 port uh, if you may ask is due to our tomcat it uh, this ivr application when we will do the uh, testing of this one right that will be running on port number 8080 okay anyway uh so quickly we will need this one we will connect and over here i can go to the properties and change like uh, make a api call okay and then we will finish it okay let's say n uh let's play something like to just to get that okay prompt is played so let's play something called test test prompt quickly i will just create this one so that uh, we can test it out. So I will create test and let's say test is the file name and I will put text to speech over here. Te test is completed. Okay, so that is done. We don't require that one and this is also done. Okay, now coming to your API, right? Now we have used the sublet node okay so before that uh, there is also you can use something called web service over here somewhere uh, i don't remember so some i think uh, create now workflow ab grammar reset yeah see 
so there is a web service integration process is also there right uh, which is and also database also but i don't create this one i think this one was that yeah wsd url if you're using soap and you can give the details and all those things and it will create the uh, reusable module for you but i don't use it because usually after that also we have to create the java call java node call to get the values and do the parsing and all those things but anyway that is for another day so what we will do we will copy paste the code over here right now the question is do we don't have this jars right so come on now what we will do is i will paste and jars right so jar downloaded so what it gives you kind of a maven kind of a thing where you can get the jars and its own dependencies uh, get downloaded right so it got downloaded over here we will go uh, refresh okay so we will cut this one and we'll go to our videos folder let's say and we will extract it why so slow some other system is behaving very slow not sure what is the reason but uh, anyway okay so now we have those two jars so what i will do is i will go to the web inf okay why there is a red icon not sure okay and those two jar i will copy and paste it into the lib folder okay once that is done i will go right click on the properties and add jars click on add jars and you can add those two jars over here okay so once done i will click on apply apply and close okay coming back over here control shift o we will get the ok http so we will select that one ok http again for the request and response we got it and all error is done now we still have one what is the error oh, okay so it requires to be try and catch okay so we have catch that and syso system printout response dot uh, we need a body and we need in string right okay so this will supposed to print you this output okay so let's try it out uh, so what we will do is we will start the tomcat okay so over here in the application simulator uh, if you're not seeing application simulator means you are not in the spruce project okay uh, we will go to application and we will select our application and we will start still starting over there it's loading up uh, almost done i guess thing is started now okay test is completed okay so uh, you saw right uh, we went to make a pay call we played the test is completed and we got the response right so yeah so this is how i integrate with the rest api uh, another class will be for the soap api right but uh, we don't have a soap api so first of all i have to find one but anyway if you like uh, or if you have any queries uh, please put in the comment section and as always uh, like and subscribe uh, to the channel thank you